Well, we're not done yet. We are still out on the road in a beautiful lake in Wisconsin, working on an Airstream. Check that out. We got a ways to go, but we've also got a lot of work done. So if you want to learn about what we're doing on this Airstream, keep watching. All right, so here we are in this uh, Airstream. And uh, what's interesting about this one is this is actually remodeled from a queen bed to a double. So I guess know that that's possible. Uh, there's someone in the local Minneapolis area that did the work on this. So now we're doing the electrical system. And uh, as you can see, we've got the MultiPlus in here. We're just trying to make it all work. We were originally thinking about putting it here. And now, you know, we're cleaning all this stuff up, okay? This is this is mid-project. Mid-project. Uh, we're just getting everything run, getting it all working. Uh, we do have our screen working now. But, yeah, we decided to put that there. And uh, we're going to put an exhaust fan right here to blow fresh air in. And what's kind of cool about this, this is, this is something we've never done before. We tied this fan into the K1 relay on the MultiPlus there. And what's nice about that is we programmed that to when the fan on that goes on, that fan goes on. So we don't need any extra logic in it. So that's pretty cool. Then uh, here, got a lot of the usual suspects here. Like I said, we'll get this all cleaned up. Um, Got the uh, 100 or the 50 amp charger, and then we're reusing the stock 35 amp, amp charger for our external panels. We've done that before. Uh, I've got the uh, DC DC charger on this one, and our links and solar breaker, servo, all that stuff. Then here we've got three SOK batteries mounted on a platform see in here a little bit more how that's working out so a lot of the wires come in from the bottom of the floor right underneath where these batteries are so we just build a little false floor and then go over it so I think this is the most power we've been able to pack into an Airstream yet and uh, customers helping me out here a little bit too he's, he's working on his own project part of it there so it's kind of fun working together we're okay with that. Yeah, it's been a great project. I'm learning a lot. <laughs> All right. So there's something else we do sometimes. Uh, at the Our battery is pretty much almost full, but what you can do is reduce the charging amps, will enable DVCC, and that will let us dial it down to about five amps. Coming in. And then that will let the batteries charge up a little bit more evenly without oh. hitting High voltage. Oh, here we go. Now I understand. I like that. <laughs> All right, hopefully last day on this Airstream project. We are wrapping things up. I think this is starting to look a little bit better in there, huh? Still rat's nest of wires, but that's what they give us to work with. Got some things going on in there we're going to talk about here in a minute. Uh, one in particular is We've got no watt reading for input and output on AC. And I'm gonna try and use a headphone jack extender. You remember these? Yeah, that's, that's not USB zero or anything like that. This is, kids, this is what we used to use to listen to music. On the MultiPlus here, there is a current sensor. Oh, yeah, it's right, it's right here. So all I'm gonna do is pop that in there and then out and we get no change so that didn't help you should oh there it goes we're starting to get some numbers i feel like we're oh that's probably is all we're using is 62 watts well there you go i almost thought it wasn't going to work but if you're finding that's the issue give that a try all right, we're getting after the solar here. I'm up on top of the old Airstream globe trotter here. I think that's what it is anyway. Got one panel off. And uh, you can see how much kind of wasted 
real estate there is up here with these panels. And I get why they use them, but what I don't get is why they tuck them so close to the air conditioner. It's in constant, well, actually, at this moment, this one is not in shade, at least not from the air conditioner, but uh, at high noon, that, like, it's going to be in shade almost. If I, if I was going to use these panels, I would push them as far as I can to the outside so you avoid self-shading here. But with the panels we're using, we're going to have to go right up against the edge on uh, either side. We're using these 100-watt rich solar panels. Uh, I think the more I'm looking at it, I wasn't sure if we were going to fit 800 watts up here, but I think we will now. So we'll see. Got my official Airstream shoes on, so not going to mark it up too bad, hopefully. Helps me grip pretty good. And uh, here's gratuitous solar bus there, too. I know you guys like to watch that. Or maybe it's just me. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get these off and uh, at least temporarily get the new ones up. And we'll go from there. Well, we're getting the uh, panels laid out here. And I think we settled on a solution. We're getting as creative as we've ever gotten on an Airstream before. A uh, quick review, we've got a 100 watts there, 100, 100, 100 for 400 back here. And as you can see, we're, we're dangling them off the back there a little bit. Before we're done, I'll show you how we're doing the mounts, but we offset one of the mounts there a little bit, see? And that should work fine. Uh, the other one is attached on the back corner. And then uh, we're using 250s here. And then probably where we're getting the most creative is putting the putting a 100 right there. And you might think, well, why not use one of those? But those are 90, and they run at a little different voltage than the uh, the other hundreds do. So, and I had one of these, and they match a little bit better. So we're gonna go with that. And as far as how we wire it, here's Chris. He's uh, he's the one who's silly enough to pay someone like me to do this. So it's a blessing. <laughs> Uh, so he, he's putting in some sweat equity in this as well. So anyway, our plan is we're going to put uh, this panel and that panel in series together. So that's a group, and we shouldn't have too much self-shading there. Then we're going to do this panel and these, t these three in a group. But what we're doing there is putting these two panels in parallel to make a 100-watt panel. And then this separated 100-watt panel put in series with that panel and then we'll parallel that group together potentially <clears throat> and then uh yeah i'm just thinking it through yes that would all be parallel then that goes to one of those ports then we put uh that in series that in series parallel that group together and push that to one of the other ports and what i'm using for those we're gonna be using these but these off the old uh jungle site as the kids say Throw that right in there and that'll connect into that port. And that's how you get 800 watts on a 25 foot Airstream. Now per usual, I kind of screwed up a little bit. I keep forgetting ah, that I got to put on this little adapter for these because they're backwards. So it's one of the other reasons it's good to test your solar in the twilight like this. So it's not many amps reversing into the charger, but the Victron chargers, they'll handle a little bit of reverse uh, current without much of a problem. And then I just take a piece of heat shrink tube and go over that, and now it's uh, a plug. No one would be the wiser. Well, it's that time of year where we get to ask ourselves, what time is it? And it's probably like 4.30. <laughs> no, I think it's a little bit after that, but we got uh, all the panels up here secured down. <sighs> We'll take a look in the morning, test it out, but we are coming to the close here. I've got some ideas. If, if there's somebody out there with an Airstream that wants to get crazy, hit me up. And uh, I think we could do something really interesting with these, but I gotta have a willing participant. So check us out, uh, sotasolar.com, S-O-T-A-S-O-L-A-R.com. Uh, also check in the description if you can't understand my Midwestern mumbling. So, all right, I'll check in with you in the morning. Well, good morning. We made it. Let's uh, go up on this upper level here and take a look at what we did on the solar. We had to get a little creative to get this much solar on a 
Airstream. This is 800 watts on this 25 foot globe trotter here. And uh, we ended up tilting that one up a little bit. This is kind of how it ended up having to go. But I'm pretty happy with it. All the die cores set up pretty well. Looks like I got maybe a couple of things to zip tie down a little bit better. But other than that, I think we're in good shape. All right, so here we are. This is how the uh, this area ended up. Got our covers on there. We got uh, that temp controlled fan. Um, oh, it's on there. My customer is gonna put the cover on there. So that'll work out pretty well. That's gonna suck air in. And then uh, we'll go outside and take a look at that from that side. That should work pretty well. Got our batteries all good and secure in there. Oh, I think that's gonna it's gonna take take some heat shrinking and go over those. So I gotta do that too. All right, we're not quite done. That's why I like to do a final walkthrough in the morning. I don't like to rush through last night. As you remember, we were working late last night. Just we always try and do a good job, but you have a little more motivation in the morning to do the little stuff. And so that's what we're going to do. Kind of that's what the plan today was. Let's just take care of all that little stuff that, uh, you know, sometimes late at night you have a little less motivation for. So uh, let's take care of that. Keep that as safe as we can. But uh, we are looking pretty good here. Got our positives nice and protected there. So. If something errantly drops in there, we're not gonna have fireworks. I feel better about that. And uh, yeah, the customer is shortening up some of these wires in here. Uh, <clears throat> you don't wanna go too short, and we talked about that a little bit, um, but it definitely does look a lot cleaner in there than it did before, so. All right. <clears throat> Here's what we ended up putting together for a board in here. Got everything working, looking good. Now, if this is something you want done to your Airstream, you want more solar, you want more battery, so you can boondock longer and not be tied to the pole, give us a call uh, or a text message or a um, message on our website at sotasolar.com, S-O-T-A-S-O-L-A-R.com. We'd love to help you out. We've got some big announcements coming and can't wait to share them with you. So. Until next time, we will see you later, I guess. So, yeah. All right, bye.